Hello and welcome to KFE Brake Systems Tech Sessions. I'm Stephanie Danielson. Joining me is Chris and we're here to talk about corrosion protection on disc rotors. Chris, thank you so much for joining us. Pleasure to be here, Steph. I'd like to first start off by having you explain to our viewers what we're doing here today and which types of corrosion protection are out in the market. Okay, well there are many different types of corrosive protection for rotors, but what we're going to do today is focus on the four most popular ones and then compare them to each other. And these are oil on the rotor or no protection, paint hub protection, zinc plating, and a proprietary coating. With these choices as a DIY buyer looking to buy rotors, is there a specific type of protection they should be looking for? Very good question, Steph. They all work to varying degrees, but the key question here is duration. How well do each these various forms of protection stand up to each other? SAE has their corrosive test but we are gonna conduct our street test. SAE Society of Automotive Engineers, J2334, Laboratory Cyclic Corrosion Test. Requires acquiring measuring equipment. Controlled laboratory conditions of humidity, salt solution applications. Verifiable standardized test cycles, duration and dry off periods. Coupon monitoring for result. Can you achieve SAE results with a street test? No, but with our eyeball test and real life conditions, we're really gonna to get to see how these various forms work with each other. I see, how exactly will this street test be conducted? Okay, so let's get to it. The vehicle will be parked outside or driven around for three months. On the first of each month, we'll spray the rotors with water. On the 15th of each month, we will spray salt water on the rotors. And each day, we're going to test the humidity and precipitation with the National Weather Forecast Service. That's good. Which is a good point. And at the end of three months, it's all back here. Take the rotors off, and the big comparison begins. Well, sounds easy enough. Shall we put these rotors on? Let's do it. But also be sure when you take the rotors off that you change the brake pads as well. And of course, we recommend that you use our quiet, advanced ceramic brake pads when you're changing the rotors. KFE Brake Systems quiet, advanced ceramic brake pads are made with chamfer edges to help reduce noise, pad lift, and extend pad life. They have slots to clean contact surface areas and increase brake bite. Wolverine shims reduce vibration and brake noise. The positive molding process allows the pads to have a more predictable braking system with less brake fade. Thermo scorching reduces break-in period and noise. Also, all KFE Brake Systems brake pads meet the 2021 California-Washington low copper legislation. And they are, of course, 100% asbestos-free. When changing your brakes, always make safety a priority. Be sure to wear a respirator mask, wear gloves, and of course, eye protection. Always clean dust, debris, and rust off your hub before installing new rotors. If reusing an old rotor, make sure to shave the surface within manufacture specs and clean the hub of the contact area on the rotors. This will reduce rotor runout and brake pulsation. Test rotor lateral runout with a dial indicator to avoid vibration and pulsation. The tolerance should be less than 003 inch. If greater than 003 inch, purchase a correction plate. Prior to installing the brake pad, check hardware, brake lines, calipers, and piston seals for damages. And of course, replace as needed. Apply anti-squeak grease to the back of the pad and shims. Once the installation is finished, do not forget to break in the rotor and pad to create transfer film. This will help with the overall performance of your brake system. Well, that was simple enough. Right. <laughs> Let the test begin. We'll be back in three months with the results. Chris, thank you so much for joining us on today's demonstration. My pleasure. I enjoyed it, Steph. It's been fun, and thank you for watching. If you have a question or a comment, leave it in the comments section below. And be sure to follow us on Twitter at KFE.Breaks, as well as Facebook, KFE Break Systems. I'm Stephanie Danielson. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you next time on KFE Break Systems Tech Sessions.